What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh. So today is the May the 4th, 2020 and um, the Star Wars, Clone Wars season series finale is out. And you know, at the end of the Clone Wars, we started watching it. Like when the movie came out, watched it all the time. We saw everything as it was coming out on Cartoon Network. Or on, for us, it was on ABC, I believe. Um, and yeah, it came out, came out, and we're watching it. And now after the season finale, series finale, we had a little setup, I'm sure... Like my sister did this canopy, so we have stars going up. Um, but because of that, I have to use like external lighting to try to light it up so you can see our faces. And the ISO is really high, so we're gonna be very pixelated and grainy. But you know, at least you'll be able to see our reactions. Oh my god! I'm Damn it! I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh. Soldier Rex. So is every one of those men down there. They may be willing to die, but I am not the one who is going to kill them. Just keep on talking a little bit longer. Jesse. Jesse, listen to me. We've known each other a long time. If we don't get this right, we will be the ones committing treason. Not them. So it's of course it's gonna focus on them in the end as well and Dave Filoni said that they're the main characters But I don't know I guess I just regarding the Clone Wars as a whole I was just expecting more to end the Clone Wars The ending was nice I enjoyed it It was a good episode It was a good episode But it, I don't know maybe it's because there were so many like oh my god moments in like the last Yeah two. in the last two ones there were so many oh my god moments and it was really Talk like, it was just like talking about the everything. other episodes as well, other st movies. This one felt a little underwhelming. underwhelming. Like I thought yeah. they would like somehow escape, but then something else would happen as well. Yeah. Not the whole episode focused on just the just escape. them escaping. Yeah. Yeah, and it makes sense. It'd be difficult to escape and stuff. The Darth Vader was a nice touch. That was I got that spot for me uh, this morning. I was on TikTok, and then someone puts that scene up of Darth Vader there. I didn't know there was no spoil. It didn't have spoiler warning or anything. It's just there. And then I'm like, oh. I know that Vader goes to see find her lightsabers. Yeah. How many years after that is? Yeah. And like, like th there were just so many like moments where it's like over the last few episodes that it's like if one thing had changed then like so like if ahsoka said yeah i want to be back on the jedi again they would have told her the plan yeah and it gets planned and she would have said oh i like more mention something something, something about this and, like if like, so many windy. times were like yeah but overall this this oh, season was good it's a good really good finale to the star wars the clone wars um focusing on rex and ahsoka for the most part like the bad batch rex then you have Trace and Rafa with Ahsoka, and then you have the final Siege of Mandalore, which is both of them. Um, I yeah, part of me just wished. I part of me just wished we got more of an ending with Obi Wan and Anakin as well. Yes, they have the movies, but they were also a core part of the Clone Wars as a whole. 
So a part of me just wished that there was that as well. So maybe yeah. it's because like with like so if they were to do stuff with Anakin as well, they have to be really careful to make sure it links exactly to episode three. They have to be careful with all of this anyway. Like um, how, I guess but the planet so, that they land on, Vader finding the lightsaber. So when does this take place? Because yeah. like. <laughs> They're so not nice, in episode three or episode four, so it's it's as in like in the ending when that's happening. So yeah. it's, they can play around with that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a good season overall because there are four episodes from this season that were utterly disappointing. Apart from those, it was amazing. The Bad Batch was good though, yeah, but because really of course we've seen it before as a part of the season, it doesn't work. The Siege of Mandalore was clearly easily the best part. Um, so where does it go? Where you like you compare it to other seasons five and six especially where they have 90% of the episodes are great. In this one, you have one third of the episodes are great. Another third is good. And then one third is... I, st I still don't understand the relationship of the two girls with Ahsoka. Uh, How does it build up it to... Doesn't, it doesn't it play doesn't. anything to the main story. She it's even crazy. says in a later episode, it, do it does, doesn't matter. It's not anyway, so that's that. That's our viewing of the finale of The Clone Wars. Um, What's going to happen? Yeah, let us know what you thought about this show. What did you think about this season as a whole? What was your favorite part of the series as a whole? Mine was um, the darkness on Umbaran, the clone arc. Do you have a favorite? Umbaran? To me personally, the moment the that, that she and, and Rex, no, she and Rex have their relationship. I've always had that. <clears throat> I know, I know, but knowing that Rex is not turning. Yeah. You know, See, I mean, I, yeah, talking about the that, that's one of the other things I heard a lot of people say. Oh, they were thinking, oh, they, we would see Rex meet up with Gregor or Wolf yeah. and then them go to their own planet and stuff and kind of resolve that and ha explain how that happens. Uh, because, yeah, it makes it Wolf, why doesn't he turn or why doesn't Gre Gregor? He's not really with any of the Jedi, so it kind of makes sense that Chris he might. He was um, with the D Squad. He was on that planet. George Lucas's favorite episode, A Sunny Day in a Void or whatever. I wonder if the Bad Batch ended up turning because I'm they, sure they were did. like, no, but like if they were like, you know, like defects and yeah. stuff. I wonder if they something went wrong with the inhibitor so, too. I, I before this season came out, I've been working on a fan film, feature length fan film. It included the Bad Batch, and in my in my story, they did turn. Um, I won't give away too much because. Uh, like it's my own personal thing. Anyway, so that ends that. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and until next time, I'll see you guys.